In this video, we are going to discuss about BPDU guard, BPDU filter, uplink fast and backbone fast. So, as we learned that the port fast will disable the STP or the switches, so but the port fast switch port will receive the BPDUs on it or listen to the BPDUs which it receives. So, to overcome that, you can clearly see here to guard against that situation, Cisco provides BPDU guard and BPDU filter features here. So, if you see BPDU guard, if a switch is plugged into a switch port configured on a port fast, then it could change the STP topology without knowing about the, without giving information to the administrator and could even bring down the network without informing or intimating the network administrator. So, this is the feature of the BPDU guard here. So, coming to BPDU filter, when BPDU filter is configured on switch port, which has the port fast configured on it, it will cause the port to lose the port fast status if BPDU is received on it port here. So, this is the feature of BPDU filter. So, what its function here is, so it will cause the port to lose the port fast status if BPDU received on it. So, this is how the function of BPDU filter works. So, coming to the uplink fast. To understand how uplink fast helps here, we see that we consider a network and this network is clearly shown here that this is switch A and switch B and this is the root bridge here and these have slash 14 slash 15 notations which are the fast ethernet for the interfaces provided. So, here when you wanted to configure, you see the simple syntax here, if you see here switch B shows spanning 3 VLAN 5. So, it will show the spanning 3 available on the VLAN 5 network. You see VLAN 0005, spanning 3 is enabled as a protocol IEEE and this is the root ID that means root ID in the sense it is a root bridge here for the switch B and you see the information available clearly. So, you see our switch B here shows spanning 3 uplink fast then it will clearly show uplink fast is disabled on the switch B here then what we consider we use the we use the following debug commands on the switch to bring the uplink fast up here so you we use for switch b debug spanning tree event this is the syntax used for the first debug step and the spanning tree event debugging is on so it is enabled the spanning tree event debugging step is been on and also debug spanning tree uplink fast so it will enable the uplink fast to on state here so, that these debugs will show STP events and uplink fast messages. So, uplink fast messages and debugging events are now enabled so that they will show the warning messages or the messages on the CLI interface for us. So, if you see switch B, when you enter shutdown, then you have all these details about the VLAN new port and about the fast Ethernet interface and also removing previous root. So, everything can be seen here and about the forwarding from FA 015 also learning from 15 and also forwarding also is been enabled here. So, this is how you can see that the FA 0 slash 15 to transition to forwarding time is 30 seconds is been noted here. That means, it takes 30 seconds for time for transition to forwarding from the fast ethernet 0 slash 15 and also let us enable uplink fast on switch B and repeat the process again. So, you see here switch B spanning tree uplink fast, then this will give you an information about spanning tree on VLAN 5. So, this is the syntax we use and int FA slash 14, that means interface mode go to the interface mode for the in, for the interface FA slash 14 here and when you enter shutdown do show spanning tree VLAN 5. So, it will show the information of the spanning tree VLAN 5 here. So, this is about the uplink fast here. So, you can see the time taken for F FA 15 to transition forwarding 30 seconds downtime less than the uplink fast enabled. That means, you see coming to 30 seconds to 1 second here, that means uplink fast will search for alternative ports which are directly connect to that switch port here. So, Cisco recommends caution when, when we use the uplink fast. So, you should enable it only on switches that have block ports. That means, when, uh, when a directly connected link is connected to a port, then which are blocked ports, then this uplink fast will search for the block ports as an alternative ports here. So, this is about the uplink fast and enabling uplink fast on the switches here. So, coming to here backbone fast, 
Uplink fast works on finding alternative ports on the switches for directly connected links. That means, for directly connected links, it will search for the alternative ports on the switches here. Similarly, backbone fast works on finding an alternative path when indirect link to root port goes down. That means, to the root port, the indirect link goes down, it will search for the alternative path here. If switch closes connections to switch A, then it will advertise itself that as the root bridge to switch D. That means, if you see A, B, C, D are available, then if switch A loses the switch connection, then it will advertise itself as a root bridge to switch D here. That means, switch D will come to know that it will compare with the previous information available with switch D and it will compare and come to know that the switch A connection is lost. So, that it will update the information and for the next time if any if any connection went down, then here it is clearly that the information is compared and it will be learnt from that information. So, also if you can see eventually switch D will receive the DPDU from switch B stating that the switch A is still root bridge and still switch D will now allow for the interface FA017 and root port instead of FA020 here. And also you can see that the spanning tree backbone command can be used here, how we can configure the spanning tree on the switches it is used in the global configuration mode to enable the backbone fast as shown in the syntax below. If you can see switch configure terminal and switch configure after getting into configure terminal spanning tree backbone fast. So, this will enable the backbone fast so that it will search for the alternative route for the indirect links between the two physical devices.